This is Firefighter Caffarata, and today we're going to talk about returning to our normal lives. It's been nine months since my surgery, and I feel good. And now I'm getting back into the mental aspect of getting back to what I've been used to doing as being a firefighter. So today we're going to talk about returning to normalcy. Welcome back. This is Firefighter Caffarata, and it's been nine months since my surgery date. Uh, nine months, and I feel uh, things have moved very quickly. The first three months of my post-surgery, couldn't do anything, only lift weights, like five pounds each arm, couldn't really do any type of like physical activity, couldn't really, uh, I had to have my chest fused back together, the sternum, because everything was just ripped apart, right? And, uh, and what it looks like today, it looks, uh, you know, it looks all right. Let me see. You can kind of see it right there. If I can do this, boom, that's, that's the scar. So that's the scar I have. That's my, you hear some music in the background. That's my little baby who is eight months old. She was born literally just a month. Baby Kira, what are you up to? And a month after my surgery, and she's doing great. There she is right there. Baby Kira, say hi. Look up, oh yeah! That's baby Kira. She is the light of my life. Same with my other two kids. I have two boys and a baby girl. Um, so our whole point here is to eventually get back to 100% or close to it and return back to what we've been doing. And I know all of us can by being our best advocate and following the right paths. Uh, yeah, yeah, let me get you up. She wants to be part of this. So here she is right here. And uh, so life has been a blessing. So thank you. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been a ride, you know, but now I'm actually back at work and I had my first two days, uh, 48 hours at the firehouse and my kids were wondering where I was the whole time but uh, but it was good it was fun and it was fun to talk to adults opposed to just little babies and nothing against you but uh, but the thing is you know the scar and the healing process it's gonna be a constant and that's gonna be that scar is gonna be there probably for my life uh, maybe it'll get a little better um, but that's not yeah, but that's not my concern. The scar is not the concern. It's everything that's underneath that. I want to make sure the sternum is good. I had a scare just a little bit before this that I was lifting weights, and uh, it's called malunion, where the sternum could actually come back apart, and I was concerned that that was a possibility. Another doctor at my gym noticed in the locker room my scar, and we started talking, and he was like, it's too early for you to lift weights. And this has been like, I mean... Again, I've been nine months post-surgery, but he saw me about uh, about the six month, eight, six to seven month mark. And he goes, that's still too early. So, and I did feel some pain in my sternum, so I got a CAT scan and uh, had uh, an additional scare where my cardiologist didn't want to read it to me. Didn't want to read it. He's like, hey, your surgeon has to let you know what we see, right? Because in the words, in the writing, in the email from Kaiser, said that like uh, the, the fusing didn't fuse completely. And that right there made me think, great. And if you had a malunion, and if it started coming apart, the next step would be, you'd have to go back for an additional surgery. And they would have to either graft like inside the bone and, you know, again, suture back up the sternum and uh, kind of redo everything that was, that was undone. Uh, the good thing is my surgeon told me everything was fine. So now I'm moving forward. Just went back to work and I had my first two days at the firehouse. And uh, yeah, that was, uh, it was easy. We, we <coughs> went back to normal stuff. Yep, yep. Uh, everybody came over. I had my chief who I really love come by and give me a hug. Uh, everybody asked, how do I feel? Are you okay to come back? And uh, I'm cleared, I'm back. Now, Everybody out there that's listening, that's going through the same type of stuff, uh, you too could return back to your type of, you know, uh, jobs that you guys have. If it's desk, if it's if it's field work, but like listen to your body. 
So I told my surgeon and my cardiologist, they were trying to push me back like the six month mark, you know? And they're like, oh yeah, you're, you're ready to go back. Well, like your job is all, ah! yes, different for ah! each person. Each job is different. So each job, ah! if it's a desk job, if it's a physical job, whatever it might be, ah! listen to your body. And your body might tell you, you know, you cannot return yet. Because for my type of job, I have to look people that are my weight. I'm 220. So I have to look people that are 220. Now, nine months after right now, uh, I'm still working on getting that strength back. But my cardi my cardiologist my cardiologist, whatever, uh, said that, you know, you look good, uh, you're doing everything right. I, I basically walk six miles a day, I swim four and a half miles a week. So my cardio is is superb. It's really good. My cardio. Strength. Again, the nine months after, uh, really is only six months, six months of time where I'm actually uh, getting back into the strength training. So that's gonna just take time. Um, but you know, everybody out there that watches these videos that has you know the same exact type of like concern, going through the same type of situation, you know, we're gonna get through all this. You're gonna get through this. Uh, you know, ask me questions. Uh, you know, have your group and your network that you talk to, if it's coworkers, if it's family, friends, and, you know, keep that, that spear of like the influence and, and positivity close to you because that's really important. And uh, I did, and it helped me out greatly. Now I am on pills, maybe the rest of my life. I'm working on trying to uh, lose weight because right now I'm on beta blockers. And beta blockers, you know, slow the heart rate down so you don't make those vessels weak and it doesn't cause a possible another aneurysm. So I'm on beta blockers probably the rest of my life and I haven't really found the ones that work uh, perfectly. It's like a test. Every doctor's like, well, let's try these ones. Let's try these ones. But, you know, do the research on your own also and find out which what side effects are in each beta blocker and then ask your doctor, hey, look, I read these side effects. What are the concerns? You know, the one I'm taking right now, I just started today, uh, the nine month mark, uh, I read in fine print, may cause dizziness. Uh, you know, can't like, should I be operating, operating heavy machinery? And my doctor that prescribed it to me, they know I'm a firefighter, is that a concern? So these are all things you have to bring up to your, your doctor and kind of find out. Now, um, yeah, the beta blockers, what I was gonna say is I'm on beta blockers, I'm on like a like a statin for like, you know, limiting like a cholesterol spike, like uh, lowering my cholesterol, and uh, just taking like baby aspirin. Now, everybody else out there might be on some different stuff, you might be on blood thinners. Uh, initial after surgery, I was on blood thinners as well. Uh, if you have a valve replacement, um, other than a, like a pig valve, if you have a mechanical, mechanical valve, you're probably gonna be on blood thinners the rest of your life. Now, uh, but anyway, the return to normalcy, the normal rhythm is where I'm at. I, I've been home uh, for all these months, recovering with these little ones. I have, a, I have an eight month old, I have a four year old, I have a 12 year old, and uh, it's, been, uh, it's been hard, challenging, and at the same time, uh, now I'm at the point where I'm ready to kind of return back to what I've been doing for the last 24 years. So. To all my friends and family that are out there that are watching, you know, I want to thank everybody for uh, support. But at the same time, you know, um, people that are watching that are going through all this type of this this drama, this this situation, uh, you're going to get through it, and you want to keep positive, and you want to keep uh, motivated. You know, uh, try not to spiral into a, a negative dark area. Um, it's, it's, it is hard, but the thing is, you know, you're living for, you're, you're living for more than you think. It's not just about you. It's about living for these guys and, you know, other people out there that are also, you know, relying on you and looking at you as a, as a very important individual. So, yeah, anyway, um, nine month mark, feeling pretty good. The surgery was a success, and uh, yeah, and and the scars uh, probably just my. It's gonna be it's gonna be my my thing to to look upon to remember, that you know, 
it's I, I, I made this and I was able to get past this and I'm actually lucky and proud that everything went the way it did. So yeah, have it going guys. Happy New Year. It's January and this is 2024.